Hi there, this is Jerm from Prosectorials and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to, in a matter of a few minutes, just show to you how you can actually create a subdomain name. And I'm guessing if you are here, you already have an idea of why exactly you would want a subdomain name. Anyway, I'm just going to give a bit details about this. Okay, at the moment I am in my new WordPress website and if you actually went to my website in the past, you may notice that it's no longer prosectorials.com as it used to be. Now it's prosectorials.org. So that's my new website. And in my website, I talk mainly about WordPress, also about SEO and so on. But let's say that I want to talk about something that has nothing to do with my website. So for this, I could create a subdomain name just for that new topic that I want to talk about. Let's say I want to talk about White Sox, which is something quite boring. And for this, I could create whitesocks.prosectorials.org. And over there in that new subdomain name, I could install WordPress and basically build a new website just for that new topic. So this is just an idea of what you can actually do. You could also use a subdomain name for a forum. You probably have noticed that when you want to create a forum in your website, what you need is to install a plugin. And what happens is when you install a plugin, you actually integrate a forum inside of your current WordPress website. And many times that just doesn't look really, I mean, it just doesn't look really professional. So what you could do is a subdomain name just for your forum and install a forum platter from over there. So this could be, for example, forum.prosectorials.org. And I would install a forum over there. So I would put a link in my, in this case, in prosectorials.org. I would put a link to my forum. Once some uh, visitor or someone click over there, they would be redirected to my new forum. So this is just an idea of what exactly you can do with this. Okay, well, now let's see how you can actually create a subdomain name. So for this, you need to go to your cPanel. And I'm no longer using Bluehost as I was previously using. And if you are using them, there's really nothing wrong with them. They provide a really fantastic and professional service. But the only reason I'm using HouseTogether nowadays is because they have quite a cheaper price. It's basically just because of that. Anyway, if you're using Bluehost or HouseTogether and any other um, web host out there that has a cPanel, then you will have something similar to this that you can see over here on the screen. So you want to go to where it says domains, as you can see over here, this section. And you want to click on this small icon that says subdomains. Once you click over here, you are redirected to this page that will appear very soon. And you can see over here a list of domain name, subdomain names that already have value, valuable. And you're probably wondering, why exactly do you have that? Well, when you actually create a new uh, website, it'll, it will automatically create a subdomain name. So that's why you have probably a few subdomain names over there appearing. So you want to go over here to subdomain name and first you want to select where you want to create your new subdomain name. In this case, I want to create for prosectors.org. So I select that one. And over here on subdomain names, you can put basically whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to create form. And you can see once I do this, it automatically creates, uh, creates a new file where later on, once I install a forum, all of the files will be saved over here, as you can see. So now I just need to press create. And just in a few seconds, you can see you have successfully created forum.prosectorials.org. So I already have the subdomain name created. Now let's see if it is actually working. So I'm going to just copy over here the subdomain name. Paste it over here, press enter, and you can see that now I have the subdomain name already available, but since I don't have any platter from over there installed, it doesn't appear, you really don't have anything over there appearing. 
So for example, you could install WordPress, you could install Form, or whatever you want. So that's exactly why you want a subdomain name and how you can create one. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Please subscribe, please like, share with your friends, and don't forget, stay tuned with Pro Tutorials, and bye.